To anyone skeptical about the science of global warming, Climate Gate. Climate Gate. Climate Gate. Climate Gate is the biggest scandal ever. They're just cooking the books. Climate Gate is the term being used for a handful of emails stolen last month from the influential CRU, the Climatic Research Unit in England. By far the most embarrassing email is from 1999, in which CRU's director, Phil Jones, brags that he's used a trick to hide the decline. Hide the decline meaning hiding studies from tree rings that show the earth cooling since 1960 when actual temperatures show a trend toward warming. Up the, the phrase hide the decline is now so infamous it's being spoofed on YouTube. Hide the decline. Hide the decline. And the fact that global temperatures have gone down in some years was in other emails, with one scientist lamenting, we can't account for the lack of warming at the moment, and it is a travesty that we can't. To many Republicans, ClimateGate proves that global warming is a deception. And at worst, it's junk science, and it is a part of a massive international scientific fraud. But if that's true, it's a fraud adopted by most of the world's leading scientists, along with NASA, the UN, the American Medical Association, and the National Academies of Science of 32 countries, including the United States. To most of them, ClimateGate is a sideshow compared to one overwhelming fact. The last decade is the warmest decade on record. Um, so Michael Mann is the professor who's being lampooned in that YouTube video. Mann says hide the decline was never an attempt to deceive. It was the use of real temperatures to show a real trend. Those who deny the existence of this problem, who don't have the science on their side, have instead engaged in a smear campaign to distract the public, to distract policymakers. Climate gate advocates do want political traction. They hope any uncertainty over man made global warming might change the president's plan to offer CO2 cuts in Copenhagen next week. Wyatt Andrews, CBS News, Washington.